the signs I'm looking for when investigating uh, fraud, um, like uh, for instance this case I've been doing uh, some investigative research in with a colleague of mine, John Renaud, for, for a couple of years now uh, over carbon credit fraud. Um, we, we, we tried to, to uh, assess the, the, the data in full. We had um, a spreadsheet of, of uh, all carbon traders uh, registered in Denmark. And as a matter of fact, I also uh, collected spreadsheets over the carbon traders from all other countries. And we compared these uh, uh, data to see whatever stuck out. Uh, and usually you can see uh, the, the, the fraudulent, the fraudulent uh, actors um, they stick out of the, the, the data by uh, misspelling names. Uh, when, when you have the full pattern, you almost uh, instantly see the ones that, that are irregular to, to the uh, lawful traders. Um, and that's the way to go about it. And, and when you see something that you think this, is, uh, this isn't usual, then you uh, dig into it and, and find all the information you can about this specific uh, actor in, in your investigation uh, and see if it's, if, if it's legit or what it is. Uh, same thing applies when uh, I, I did some, Reno and I, we did some, some, some uh, investigation into to, uh, this uh, issue with the uh, Icelandic invest, uh, uh, investors that um, operated out of uh, Baugur Kaufland Bank uh, a couple of years ago and we um, we uh, established a database of, on all the uh, holding companies they used all over Europe, especially in Luxembourg. Uh, and they had a lot of holding companies. Uh, I think uh, at, at the last count we had uh, 120 or, th or so companies. And, and uh, we could see uh, by, by, by uh, overviewing in full this uh, list of companies, which of the companies that stuck out. And, and, and that way we could find the track to, to, um, to where the fundings for, for this uh, initial establishment of the Icelandic uh, wave of the Westers, where it came from. And we actually did find uh, connections between uh, Baugur Kaufenbank uh, in Iceland and uh, a Russian investor. They used the same uh, Caribbean shelf companies to, to move their funds in. So, so it, it was a simple pattern analysis to see what stuck out and, and go dig in there.